Hello. So I wanted to show you a cute little idea for the Painted Harvest uh, Stampin' Up! stamp set. I was playing around with it, copying somebody else's videos. There's like two or three different videos on there making little hedgehogs out of the flower. Well, I have to, I have a swap that I'm doing for a pocket letter that's teddy bears. And so I got this idea that I could make a teddy bear from it. And I think it turned out really adorable. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, so first of all, I'll just take the larger flower and the only really light pink I had is a really, really old Stampin' Up! pad, pretty in pink. And it's a little, I think I actually have a ring or somewhere, you know, I should buy a new pad. But anyway, layer that on there. I just have a two and a half by three and a half card cut out here. You can't see it against the white, but it's there. That's what it is. And I like to go by the center of the flower that has kind of an oval look to it this way. So I make sure that, that is sideways. So again, pretty faint, but I think you can still see it. And then I use positively pink. All right, I'm going off camera. You have to look at my arm there for a minute. And layer that in over the top. So there you go. That can be seen better. Now I'm going to use the baked brown sugar for all the rest of the stamping. These really go together pretty quick. So there is the face. Now I used the bottom of the acorn from the set for the ears, feet, and hands. So again, with baked brown sugar, just layer the ear on here. There we go. And the pink actually shows through, makes it look like the inner part of the ear is pink, which I thought was pretty cute. Now, the one thing you do need to make with this is you need to cut a mask out of copy paper so they don't, don't get too much layering. This isn't perfect, but it'll, it covers most of it. Anyway, so now I'm going to use the center of the flower again for the body. I'm just going to ink that up again in the baked brown sugar and just overlap it just a little bit on the flower and then whoops there is the there we go the acorn again I'm going to use a paw overlapping the edge of the flower again right next to the body and that's pretty much it for the mask and then the feet, I just turned the other way. I overlap them a little bit with the body. And I think that still looks all right. Okay. I don't know. I think that's pretty cute. So then I just use a zig marker, bullet marker. There we go. And I use the big side, this side. And I just... Some of the people use the faces from the Foxy Friends. I don't have that stamp set, so this is pretty easy to just do by hand. Just do an oval, and then two dots for eyes. Anyway, that is all there is to that. Isn't she adorable? And you could use this for so many things. Now, I'm going to show you one I did that I layered on paper just simply and again if you put a few more embellishments on it adorable like I say I did these in this two and a half by three and a half size for a pocket letter I'm doing but anyway hope you like this idea thank you for watching